Voices everywhere. Doesn't it seem like every app these days is leaning more and more into allowing us to just speak to things? Your users are gonna expect that sooner or later, right? Now the good news is that extremely great automatic speech recognition is available for you to use. You know, like take what someone says and turn it into words very easily. I've built a starter template to let you get your hands on it. Here, let me show you. So this is an Astro app that I'm hosting on Workers. It's a web app and I'm just using plain old standard HTML to show things off. Now, the first example here is actually a recorder. So I can click and uh, start recording. Uh, I'm going to record this and uh, my voice and it's gonna make a recording that I can pass up to a, a, an AI model. So I'm gonna press stop. And when I press transcribe, it's gonna take that recording and it's gonna send it up to uh, workers AI and we'll come back with this. So it was pretty quick, right? Now, what I've done here is I'm actually using VTT, the VTT that comes back, which is a video text track. So it's when I for it. Uh, I can jump to Sir Parks record this and uh, like the other thing just by clicking it, um, which is nice and powerful, right? So what happened here was I took the audio and I sent it up to the Workers AI model. If you haven't heard of Workers AI yet, it's a service that we here at Cloudflare offer where we host AI models for you. We're giving you easy access so you don't need to host them yourself. And we have a lot of models. And this one here uh, that we're looking at is this Whisper V3 Large Turbo. And it's got some parameters, some additional parameters. And I thought maybe we should explore while we're here how those works which is what is going on in these additional examples over here. So uh, I'm gonna come down here and you see there's this transcribe and uh, an existing file. So what I've done is I've recorded some very specific information about Cloudflare and then I ran it through a, a voice changer, uh, which made me sound like a teenage girl. Basically, I'm trying to make it very hard for the AI to translate uh, what's happening here or, or to transcribe what's happening here. Uh, and you'll see it did a pretty good job, actually, a lot of text here, but one of the things that it mixed up on is this cloud flare right so if i if i play this hey there it's craig and i just wanted to talk about that's me as a teenage girl uh, cloud flare's product and see, see i have this this clive player and that's i'm not i don't know what clive player is i'm trying to get it to say cloud flare and obviously we want that so if i scroll down to this next one what you can do is in this initial prompt what you can do is you can make it say uh, uh this is from a person named craig so you could get their name spelled right you know not everybody's name uh it will pick up it did pick up my name correctly but it won't always uh and i'm i'm talking about cloudflare products that's all i said there uh and then if i go ahead and i do a uh, transcribe on that it will go and it will find it will use that information to make the transcription better. So this is great if you're using specific terms in a, in a recording. And there you'll see that I, ha I have Cloudflare's products right there. And so... Cloudflare's products. Uh, so we have... Awesome. Now, you'll notice that it's also coming out properly cased. You might not want that. Maybe you want it in the style of maybe a Sam Altman tweet where it's an all lowercase. So uh, you put the prefix property in here and you say, I would uh, prefer everything to be in lowercase and it should come across. It will use the style that you started with and try to make the rest of your uh, transcription look that way, which it did. And I could combine the two and we would get rid of this Clive Flares problem that was happening. I could combine both of those parameters uh, to make that go. Pretty cool, right? Now the other bonkers things that this model does is it actually does real-time translations. So what I've done is I've made a, a file of uh, what I would commonly say people trying to learn Spanish would do. So let's let's see what comes back here. Um, so do the translate, and, and so you know I said, uh, okay. what is my name is Craig. I'm going to say some words in English, or phrases in English that are typically uh, what you use when you learn uh, to speak in Spanish as an English speaker. Where is the bathroom? Right. I like music. <laughs> How do I get to my hotel? Am I at the library? <laughs> I don't think they ever say that. I don't think they do say that. Uh, but that is definitely something that we always learned in Spanish class. That's kind of what that joke is. Uh, for people who didn't take a Spanish class, uh, biblioteca is like one of those words that you always say but it did it properly isn't that cool and it, you know there's like a little bit of an error in here like am i at a, a, a biblioteca but it did it rad right let's peep the code real quick so this is a worker using static assets and the astro framework 
this is my first Astro app, so please don't judge me. I think I'll make a separate video about how this all works because I'm a huge fan of how easy it was to build reusable components like, like this example, audio player and transcription controls. That the guts of what is actually happening here that I want you to see is this thing called Astro Actions, uh, which the team has uh, done an incredible job. The Astro team has done an incredible job of abstracting away REST API calls that we all do, right? We always do these common REST, fit, uh, REST API patterns uh, and they made it type safe. And so you'll see what happens here is I define an action and uh, I give it a schema. I give it a schema of what's happening and then I put a handler together. And uh, what happens is it does whatever, and whatever I return, it comes back inflated. So the transcribe action, uh, I know that the schema is going to match. So what I do is I just pass it straight into inf.ai, right? So I pull the environment out of the context here. Uh, this is how Astro does it. I pull the environment out. I, I call run on that model, and I pass the input in, uh, which is awesome. And, and to do that, to get access to just hit that model one line of code, right? So I'm gonna jump in and if I look at my Wrangler Tomo, all I had to do is I did this binding of AI. And this is where we have a whole stack that you can bind to all these different things. And the one that I bound to here is this worker's AI model. So let's get back uh, to that that actions uh, 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 page here. Oh, actually, let's show let me show you the calling side of what happens here. So so I've made a little uh, Astro control here, right? So that, so this is where we click the button. When we click the button, it ran this this transcribe function. Uh, so it's going to go ahead and it's going to get the buffer and it's going to get it in base sixty four. It's going to pass it up to this actions. That's that action that I called there, right? So we're going to call trans transcribe. I'm going to pass what we need, what the the model needed. It got back at uh, if there's an error, they were doing error. Uh, if there was no data, of course there is. And then uh, I got the data back inflated, right? I didn't have to do any of that fetch API, turn it into JSON, any of that stuff. It just works. It's a really slick implementation. And all that to say, we support a ton of web frameworks and we make sure that you're able to access all of the bindings to your Cloudflare stack. I hope you see how quickly you can add automatic speech recognition to your applications. Like I said, it's getting absolutely crucial for new apps to embrace this new paradigm. I think we're gonna see it more and more and I'm glad that you're an API call away from rich transcriptions. I hope you have a careless whisper experience like <laughs> all the code is in the description. This video triggered two ideas for me. I'm gonna build a microservice on workers that allows you to upload an audio file to R2 and have it automatically transcribed and then cache the results. Then I'll abstract it away as an RPC based service or remote procedure call. And also I'm gonna make a video where I do a deeper dive into the Astro framework and show off how to use it in a workers app. Let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you real soon.